open ai gpt4 o is fast multi model and flirty it is really really flirty i don't know if it is a tuning setting but the model is super flirty you can almost feel it like the samantha from the movie her <laughs> um okay so so take a take another look uh that makes more sense ah <laughs> uh, there we go it looks like you're feeling pretty happy and cheerful with a big smile and maybe even a touch of excitement whatever's going on it seems like you're in a great mood care to share the source of those good vibes Yeah no uh, the reason I'm in a really good mood is cuz we were doing a presentation showcasing how useful and amazing you are. <laughs> oh stop it you're making me block. <laughs> If you start talking to it I'm not sure how much it is going to mess up your brain but it is going to happen. So OpenAI made three important announcements today. The first one is they have introduced a new user interface for desktop computers like uh, not the web interface but actual software that you can put on mac and run the second thing is they have introduced this new model called gpt4 o and third one is they have introduced gpt4 o for all the free chat gpt users the paid users are going to get better rate limit the free users are still going to get access to the best in class model that they have got we're going to see about gpt4 o and first i'm going to start with the flirty model so you can see here uh, this is a demo that they have got and i'm going to just play it for just a bit hey there it's going great how about you i see you're rocking an open ai hoodie nice choice what's up with that ceiling though are you in a cool industry style office or something well you you might have guessed it like uh, the choice of the voice the emotion of the voice uh, the way it speaks it's quite flirty but it is absolutely good uh, it's one of the best text to speech systems that i've seen and uh, i'm quite happy for this announcement because any time open ai makes any announcement uh, it actually pulls the entire industry forward or pushes the entire industry forward i don't know how do you want to see it and uh, we are going to see a lot of open models coming soon and uh, they are going to see this benchmark to beat but anyways meanwhile the new model is called gpt4 o uh, there are a bunch of things that this model is pretty good at one of the thing is if you use it within the chat gpt interface the latency is super minimum i'm i mean i even joked that it probably killed grok g r o q um and but jokes aside this is according to open ai it's a truly multi model model it doesn't i'm not sure whether it is like the gemini one truly multi model or whether it is still they are stitching things together but let's consider take what open ai said and then say this is a truly multi model model one of the key highlights of this model is its latency it is pretty fast and it can process videos i'm not sure again how frequently it takes photos of the videos but it can process videos and it does a very good job in uh, explaining a lot of things that it can see and we saw a couple of good demos for example one of the thing that you can see is it can understand 3d objects uh, for example the other thing that you can see is you can give a lecture and then you can ask it to summarize you can give the entire video and you can ask it to summarize it's pretty much what gemini has been doing already but open ai has got all these things into it and i saw a live demo of it interpreting chart during like life so the guy has like shown it on the camera and it does a pretty good job of interpreting charts it does a pretty good job of looking at your desktop because it's a desktop application now and then saying what you have to change what kind of code changes that you have to do i think it is going to be excellent for uh, teaching and um, for a lot of other things like for example language translations if you see audio translation performance this higher is the better you can see gpt4 o is the best um, among these classes like even when you compare it with gemini or seamless from meta ai and if you talk about audio asr performance automatic speech recognition performance the lower is better it is better than the largest whisper whisper v3 and in terms of text evaluation you can see kind of a mixed result open ai already started flaunting the lmsys result um, i'm not 100% sure if the highest elo means everything is good we're going to leave it for some time and then see more uh, votes to comment but for now open ai claims that this is one of the best model one of the other reasons i am quite excited about this model is because they have improved the tokenization so one of the biggest 
complaints that I have had about these models are these models are quite expensive for you to use it. For example, Indic languages, if you were to use it in Tamil, Telugu, Hindi, Malayalam, most of these Indian languages, they don't have this Romanized token like English. So the tokenizer takes more tokens to understand this language. And because these LLMs are like token based costing, it naturally increases the cost. But OpenAI has addressed this at least like partly. So they have said that Gujarati is going to take four times lesser tokens. Telugu is take, going to take 3.5 times lesser tokens. Tamil is going to take 3.3 times lesser token and Hindi, Urdu, Arabic, Persian, Russian, and you can see all the other languages, which is quite encouraging for anybody who's trying to build anything other than English. And you have got a lot of other languages. OpenAI also claims that the latest model supports or they have expanded it with 50 languages that has got like the coverage of 95% the global population of what humans talk. This model is going to be available one on chat GPT free interface. I just canceled my chat GPT plus subscription. So I'm not upset anymore. And it is also going to be available in the API and playground and uh, API and it is going to be 50% cheaper. That's what OpenAI is saying. So it is going to be 2x faster half the price and 5x higher rate limits when you compare it with GPT-4 Turbo. So OpenAI says that Sam Altman actually wrote a blog post saying that we are a business and we will find plenty of things to charge for and that will help us provide free and outstanding service to hopefully billions of people. Maybe this is the justification why they are charging while well, they are a non-profit. But anyways, I'm happy that they're giving something for free and I, I, I believe this is going to transform education a lot. If you don't believe that this is going to transform education a lot, you can already see the Duolingo stock has plunged completely because chat GPT can do real time translation, teach you languages, whatnot. So it's, it's a heavy package. I'm going to make probably separate videos unpacking certain things, but it is for me, uh, for a lot of people, it was quite an underwhelming demo for me. It was quite, um, quite a happy, interesting demo. And, um, yeah, I'm not saying anything about the flirty, chat GPT, Samantha ish voice that they've got. If you have any thoughts, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.